Welcome to another episode of Ham Radio on the Go. In today's video, we're going to be manually programming an Anyseku WP9900, also marketed as a QIT KT WP12. It's the same radio, a micro band UHF VHF mobile radio, 25 watt, 200 channel, no out of, ba out of band receive, just your basic mobile radio. Now, you can program these on the uh, computer. They come with the cable and you can download the software. But this video is intended to show, uh, show you how to manually program it in case you're out on the go. And on this channel, we like to be out on the go. So what if you're out there traveling and you want to manually program a repeater pair into your memory and you don't have your laptop with you? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to manually program it, show you how to do it step by step on the Anyseku WP9900 or QIT KT WP12, basically the same radio. Coming up next on Ham Radio on the Go. Hey, welcome back to the channel and today I'm just going to show you quickly how to program a repeater pair a repeater uh, frequency into your memory manually on the Anyseku WP9900 now there's software out there uh, that you can put into your computer and and with the data cable you can uh, program it directly into the radio but we're going to do it manually let's just say you're out you're you're on the go we like to be on the go on this channel so you're on the go and you want to put in a repeater pair on the fly you don't have your computer with you so this would be a good way to do that we're picking a uh, repeater that's in uh, New York City and uh, it's uh, we're gonna we're gonna program it in manually so here we go so right now as you can see the bottom is in red that's set to VFO you see the top left so we're gonna put in four four zero six zero 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 so that's the repeater output so then we're gonna go into menu top left and we're gonna go down you can hold down the down button and it'll, and it'll go quickly I think it's in the teens there you go CTCSS hit the menu button down and we're gonna pick the CTCSS which is already in there 141 but I'm gonna show you you can go up you can go down you can go zero if you're gonna do off if you're gonna do simplex and we're gonna go you could hold it down again and we're gonna to go to 141 there you go 141.3 and now to program that just hit menu again and now it's programmed so now we're going to go up the menu. As you see the numbers on the right scrolling up, 19, 20, 21. Hold it down. We're going to go into the 40s to program. And there is 47 memory. There's delete 48. Now we're going to do the shift. This is a positive shift. Uh, let's just say we wanted to change it to negative. We go to uh, 49, shift. Hit menu, get into the field and then you hit up and down up down and we want to leave it at positive so we're gonna it's it's on positive so we're gonna menu back up and it's programmed okay the offset again you want to change this value uh, 440 is usually 5 megahertz so it's correctly set from a previous uh, input so but if you want to change it just menu down and you can type them in manually we're gonna go back up and so we have everything in there. So, but before we do that, let's just exit. And there you see in red what we've programmed. Now let's see if we can get into the repeater. There you go. All right, so let's get back into menu. Okay, memory. So we're gonna get into memory. 
Channel 3, channel... Let's go into channel 4. Hit menu button. You see where that channel came in? Now it says channel 4, so it is programmed. So, but you have one more step, and this is what throws everybody off. So we're going to exit, and I'll show you. You're going to hit exit VM, hold it down to get into channel mode. There you go, channel 140, but let's move up. Channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. There, there's what we program. But you see, it doesn't offset. It does not offset. 440.600 is the repeater's output. We manually have to put in that 5 megahertz uh, plus. So, which would be for... Oh, we have to get out of... It is a little complicated. Hold down exit VM. And now we're back in VFO mode. So let's try 4, 4, 5, 6, 0, 0, 0. Now we're going to go into menu. And there we are in channel 4. Down and back up. Hit menu again. Back up. Now it's programmed. The offset. So we're in VFO mode. Let's hold the exit VM button down. And now we're in channel 4. 440.600. Let's see. Look at the white frequency on the top. Let's see if it does the split. There you go. Okay, that's a quick way of programming your AnySecu WP9900 if you're on the fly and you want to do it manually. Okay, there you have it. A quick video on how to program manually your AnySecu WP9900 or your QYT KT WP12. Just in case if you're out there on the go, because we like to be on the go on this channel. Like and subscribe for future videos right here on Ham Radio on the Go. Thanks for watching.